Guys, this is my third part to my how to make a jackpot series. There's gonna be one more video after this one to explain how to make the site. And there might be one or two videos after that to explain how to edit stuff and make it your own thing. As well as like some templates for like backgrounds and all that. So let's get right into this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto the site. You're gonna take the IP right here. And you're gonna put that into a new tab. At the end of that, you're gonna type in backslash php my admin and then you're going to use your login you made while you did all the commands so mine so everyone's uh, username is going to be root and the password is whichever you set your password to on your uh, vps so once you log into that i'm just going to save it you're going to hit database here which is the first option and we are going to add a database so we're going to name this db and we're going to hit create. So once we hit create, we're going to click on it. And we're going to do import right here. Choose file. And we have it on our desktop. And that will be in... It should be easier for you guys to find because... Okay, so jackpot site files. Uh, jackpot site, it should be in database here. And this is the file you want to upload. So you hit open and go and that will bring everything in here and that will import your entire database so now we're actually going to edit a file on the uh, filezilla here so we're going to go to var www we're going to go to the html real quick and we are going to go find the core file and that's right here I'm going to hit edit. It might pull up my, my second screen here, and it did. So here's the file. So we're going to add the domain name, which is this right here. All you have to do is just type in your domain name. Uh, this will be for the title of the site. So that will be what shows right here. So just put your actual site name there, even if you don't have the domain yet. Uh, what you're also going to do is you're going to put the bot's Steam ID right here. And you're also going to put the bot's trade URL right here. And you can also set up the second bot if you'd like. So, once you do that, you will have to edit, like, your Twitter links and stuff here. If you don't have one, you can just delete these. I don't have either of these. And just leave the little quotations right there. It'll take the little uh, button off of the website. But it'll add, add you the ability to add it in later if you ever get that stuff. Once you save it, X that out. And it should ask if you want to refresh and say yes. And once you do this, all that stuff should come up like all this. I've already done it. And you see all that stuff went away right here. And once you add the PHP by admin, you're actually able to sign in. And I'll have to use my mobile authenticator. But. Oops. Sorry. I probably should have signed in before I started the video, but it's okay. So, now that you're signed in, the chat will work. You can type in here. The chat will be fully active. The whole site will work. Um, you, ha you have to trade set your, set your trade URL. But we'll have to... Yeah. My site, my, or my, yeah, my account is public, I guess. So we'll go get my trade URL real fast. And we'll insert it on the site so you guys can see all that stuff works. And if it's not working, just leave a comment down below and tell me what your problem is and I can help you guys fix it. Again, you know, you guys can always send me some free stuff now that you know my trade link. Trade link saved successfully. And now your jack will be fully set up. Um, so there's are there still are a few things you need to do. You need to get desktop authenticator, which looks like this. And you can have all your bots. The reason you need this is because once you um, once your bot is on trade ban, because when you make a new bot, it's trade ban for 15 days. What you'll do is you'll have to go in these files. You have to open up one of these files right here, depending on which bot. If you have one bot, it'll only show one file. But you go in there to get your ID secret and all that. You have to change that in some of the files, and I've already showed you guys what files you need to change that in. But that's how you change that. So, 
the next thing is, is we're going to have to upload all the bot files uh, to the same spot as the HTML. So, we'll go out here, and where you put have this HTML file right here, which is just in your www folder. This is where all your server files are. You'll go to, you go in here and you'll find your bot files, and you'll upload those right here. Now this will take a while, so just be patient because there are 10,000 files if you look down here. So it is going to take a long time, but I'm just going to tell you guys, you will need desktop authenticator. It's not urgent until your bot's almost done with the trade ban, then you have to go back and change all that. But you guys will need that. If you are confused with any of that, just leave me a comment down below, or you can add me on Steam. I'll leave my Steam trade, or my Steam URL down in the description, and you guys can add me and ask questions. Just make sure you comment on my profile and tell me why you added me. Don't just randomly add me. But uh, I'll be back once this is done. As our files are done being uploaded, so now we're going to go into the bot folder. Now we're going to open up bot1. And sometimes this one doesn't work. Like it'll do this. So what we have to do is we're going to go to our original files. And we're going to go to this bot and edit this one. And I'll show you guys how to change it later. So once you're in here, we're going to go to line 34. This is going to be your site name. So for ours, we're going to go CSGO crazy.com that'll just be your site name and uh, actually we'll have to go up here to back to site line 32 so you're going to use line your site name on line 34 this is either going to be your IP or your domain name so if you have a domain put your domain there but since I don't we're just going to put the IP in this spot so on line 32 you'll put your IP uh, line 36 that out here this will be your API key um, this will be the API key for the bot so I'm gonna leave that blank because I don't currently have a bot for this test site um, line 37 this is the admin IDs. this is the ID 64 for the admin account which you can find by getting on steam.io um, on uh, line 38, you put the bot Steam ID, which is going to be on the same website. I've showed you guys how to get that multiple times before. You just got to insert that. So on line 39 and 40, this is going to be your identity and shared secrets of your bots. To get that, you're going to need your mobile or your desktop authenticator. And you have to go into the thing for it. And that's the way you get this. Let me open it. As you go in this MA files and find it in here, and you open this up, and it'll give you your shared and secured, uh, your shared and private secret. So I'm not gonna do that on camera because that's I don't want you guys having that. Um. So on line 54 and 55, you're gonna do your account information. So you're gonna put your Steam account name and the password for the bot. And what else would there be? So line 70, 70 71, and 72. You're gonna leave this as this is gonna be DB. For 71, you're gonna put your password in. And for this, you're gonna put in root. So once you have that done, you're gonna save that. And you're gonna open up putty once you're all logged in uh, you're gonna type in some commands I'm gonna leave them down in the description first thing you're gonna type in is gonna be this and again I'll leave all these down below and that'll give you access to the bot and you're just gonna type in all these commands in order and do this one you're gonna do Y Just cop copy and paste them all in directly. So some of them might take a while. I'm not really sure. But while this one's loading in, I'll explain something to you guys. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So I'm gonna have to leave a straw pool down below, where you can pick our giveaway item. Uh, you'll paste the next code in, and it'll be probably about a $20 item. So once we hit 100 subscribers, I will draw that. So all you need to do to enter that giveaway is like on this video subscribe everything like that 
uh, you're gonna go in the straw poll and vote what gun I should give away, and whatever wins is what is gonna be given away to that person. You'll also need to comment on the video, but that shouldn't be too hard. So as long as you you like, you're subscribed, and you commented on this video, you're gonna be entered for the giveaway. So now we're gonna take our next code, and put that in here. Again, I'm just copying it from the same file I showed you guys in the, down in the description. It's just a paste bin file. And the next one. And I'm just going to copy the next one here. So it, it gets kind of boring when you do this because there's nothing you actually have to do. But the site's going to be pretty much done once we get all this. Just put that on there. Okay, so you're gonna paste in the next one. Oh, I got it real quick. So you're gonna paste that one in. So this next one. Okay, so once this one loads in, that'll monitor it to make sure the bot stays on. And this command here will start your bot. So once you do this, it will should say forever processing file bot1.js. So if you have it all set up correctly, you will get a message from your bot on Steam that says, um, like, sites online, something like that. I don't have it linked up to my Steam account, so that's why it's not going to do that. But if I go to my thing here. So some, some things that it'll do is it'll send you something that says like, oh yeah, I'm online. But this is a different site, so it's not going to. But some things you can type into the bot is you can type in slash code. And if the site was all set up to, to my bot, because I didn't I don't have all my shared secret and all that stuff in there, it would actually give me the code to log into the bot so it wouldn't need to be on my computer. You could also do slash in round. That would end our current round for the jackpot. Again, I currently don't have this on because this is not the bot I'm set up on. I don't have that bot completely set up because I still have to put all passwords and stuff like that in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves admin on the website. So you're going to go to your PHP My Admin and you're going to go to Users. Okay, I got to re-log back in. Okay, so once you're logged back in, wonder why. Let's see, my session expired. Let's find out why real quick. My database is having issues loading, it looks like. But what you do is you go to your users and you'll find whatever account you're on. Yeah, let's see if we can log back in. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay, what I'll do. Huh, I'm not sure why it's doing this. But you'll go to users. And you'll see on your you'll see your account once you after you log in, it'll say rank, and you'll just change that zero to one, or it should say admin or something like that. If you guys need help, just leave a comment and I can help you guys out. Um, and that's about it. Once you do that, you have an admin panel down here, and your site will be ready to go. Once the Botch 15 Day Trade Ban is up, then you're good to go. Again, the giveaway will be ended once I hit 100 subscribers. So all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, comment down below, like just say you like the video or whatever. And that will enter you in the giveaway. And if we can hit 100 from this video, we'll do a $20 item. If we hit like 150 after this video, which would be as a, a huge stretch, uh, I might up it to like 30 or $40, like a knife or something. So thank you guys for watching.